Hi everyone, today is Thursday, the 20th of April 2017, and you see how Marilyn Monroe basically represents this Revelation 12 woman, because <clears throat> you see how she looks like Snow White there, taking a bite from this apple, that's because Snow White also represents this woman. <clears throat> see how... Snow White wears white for heaven, just like this woman here. <clears throat> so, to forget that Marilyn sometimes wears white as well. So, see right there. Um, again, well, going back to the last video, um, sometimes she wears white for heaven, other times she wears red for the vesture of red that Jesus is supposed to wear at the end times. Anyway, moving on. So, Pope Francis. He, well, the Pope is usually the most prominent figure in, Cath in the Catholic religion, or the Catholic faith. Now, basically, to be honest, like, I think it's ludicrous, like, the God would speak through one individual. Like, because Catholics believe that the God speaks through the Pope. I mean, of all of the people on this earth, why would he choose just this guy? Like, I mean, not, well, not even going into the fact that, um, the Pope is replaced loads. I mean, how many Popes have there been now? I've lost count. Like, I mean, <clears throat> like, see how his name is Francis? Just like you have Francis Bacon, and that links with Kevin Bacon. So you see how it mentions that he was an English philosopher. And look, the Pope's education, philosophy, see? Just like you have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. Um, that's what it's called in England. In America, it's called Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, but we won't go into that. I mean, even this Vatican has the V for the Fifth Age. <clears throat> and then... Um, so yeah, where it says awards, it mentions Bambi. <clears throat> and Bambi is basically a Disney character. Uh, and, well, we know that Walt Disney had a lot of affiliations with the Nazis. Nazis were basically satanic. And we think that Disney has a lot of affiliations with the Illuminati and Freemasons as well. So... <clears throat> Basically, going to Pope Benedict now, and you see how he basically represents um, Benedict Cumberbatch. Like, like basically, the Pope has Satan in, inside him. Because he has Hitler so inside him. The same can be said for Pope Francis and Pope Benedict. The S for Satan. The S in Doctor Strange. The S in Sherlock. <clears throat> anyway, the point is, I mean, even going back to this quote from Brie Larson, so we've got some strange names in our family. See the word strange? Just like obviously like Doctor Strange, see? See how he's wearing blue and red? The red for Satan, the blue for Jesus. Blending the iron with the clay. Like... A lot of these MCU films are all about blending the iron with the clay. Even if we just 
type in Captain America Civil War. Like, I, know, I know I show this all the time, but it's um, one of the most important things. There's the Rapper saying, there's the Blue for Jesus. There's the Rapper saying, there's the Blue for Jesus. See? So, <clears throat> um, that, that is why Doctor Strange was not in Civil War, because he wouldn't know what side to be on. Because he's blue and red, say. <clears throat> I mean, see this Professor Travis guy um, from Doctor Who? He's basically like a scientist. Just like um, Tony Stark, aka Iron Man, is a scientist. And of course, he's played by Robert Downey Jr. Robert Downey Jr. Just like you have Robert De Niro. D. D. So, I mean, see the word do there? Just like the word do is in Donald Trump. Like, <clears throat> Basically, right, Robert De Niro was in a film called Taxi Driver. Now, basically, there's like loads of taxis in this picture here. <clears throat> and, um, well, I think that taxis are made of iron or some other type of metal. And, of course, that links with Iron Man. <clears throat> I mean, even, like, the planes and helicopters in the King Kong films, they could be made of iron or some other type of metal. Actually, I'm not even sure what the Statue of Liberty is made of some type of metal, and, and even um, these buildings are. Even the Empire State Building. So, <clears throat> I know that's kind of stating the obvious, but it has to be said for the purpose of what I'm doing here. Like, even this train is made of some type of metal. So, <laughs> basically, right, her crush in this taxi represents her crushing Iron Man. Brie Larson, a.k.a. Captain Marvel, a.k.a. the Rev 12 woman, crushing the Iron Man. Obviously, they're, Captain Marvel and Iron Man are both in the Marvel franchise. They're going to meet each other in certain films. She, she is up top here, representing her being in heaven. <clears throat> because the Rev 12 woman is supposed to ascend into heaven when she's granted the wings of a great eagle. But uh, obviously in, in the Marvel films, she doesn't have wings because she can fly of her own accord. It, it, it still represents the same thing anyway. I mean, but anyway, she's wearing gold for the Golden Age. I think um, Helen Mirren is doing some adverts about the Golden Age at the moment. I think it's like for Nivea or something like that. And then... um. <clears throat> If I remember rightly, there was something about the Queen's birthday, and Helen Mir Mirren mentioned something about the Golden Age during that as well. well I think I I've done videos about that in the past when it was actually nearer the time when that when that happened. But um, <clears throat> I mean, this represents that 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 she's basically crushing the people. Who are left on the earth at the end of days. <clears throat> because the people who are left on the earth at the end of days are obviously not worthy to get into heaven. 
or they are aware of it, but they just decide not to go. But if you decide not to go, then you're left to face the wrath of Satan. So, yeah. I mean, e even this train here could represent the 7-7 seven, seven bombings, and even, um, like, the Hollyoaks train crash, even, um, the train in Avengers Age of Ultron, and even the train in, uh, in Spider-Man 2 as well. So, <clears throat> I mean, obviously, like, Lady Liberty is featured in loads of media over the years. Like, even the Lego games. And, obviously, like, Marvel... Um, it's a franchise that has had the Lego treatment. So, I mean, do you see how this all links together, though? Robert De Niro and Robert Downey Jr., they're both Roberts. Taxis are made of iron or some other type of metal. And he plays the Iron Man. See? I mean, even Robert Downey Jr. being dressed as a bunny here, that's massive symbolism. Because bunnies represent tricksters. Satan's a trickster. Even Loki is a trickster. Because uh, Iron Man and Loki represent Satan. And then Captain America and Thor represent Jesus. So, I mean, even Robert Downey Jr. is, f is 52 years old. The five for the fifth age. God have mercy. So, you want even more evidence, don't you? I know you do. Well, his daughter is called Victoria. The V for the fifth age. And even um another companion um in Doctor Who, Clara, played by Jenna Coleman. Well, Jenna Coleman went on to, to star in an ITV drama called Victoria, which is about, of course, Queen Victoria. So there is that. And then um but even if you look at his name, Travers. And what do you know? Robert De Niro's character in Taxi Driver, Travis. See how Travis is really similar to Travers, see? Even that V for the fifth age, see? Oh, God have mercy. So, these guys are down here in their taxis, worshipping at her feet. And then, um... She is escaping from the beast, King Kong, see? See how she's above him? Well, her head's above him, at least. This taxi that represents Iron Man is above King Kong, because obviously Iron Man can fly. And then remember, Dr. Otto Octavius was the... Uh, main villain in Spider-Man 2 that was the movie that had this train in it um well doctors are scientists no, sorry some doctors are scientists <clears throat> and again that goes back to Iron Man being a scientist and Professor Travers. <clears throat>